What is up everybody? We are going to drill some holes today on Lake Carmi and search for some jumbo perch. Already found a few. I'm going to teach you guys a couple of tips and tricks for finding them. Um, I look for pretty much the deepest spot in the lake or the shallowest spot. They're pretty much everywhere in Lake Champlain and in uh, Lake Carmi it seems like. So a couple things that I do is first off I'll take drill hole step one uh, step two is I'll send something big down the hole so something that I can pound off the bottom which I'm going to do right now so this is a big basically three-sided spoon uh, bright pink I'm going to stir up the dirt on the bottom that gets the perch all riled up you think other fish are feeding in that area which is good so that gets them all riled up uh, you'll see them on the screen screen I do have a fish finder you don't really need one for perch you basically Go to the bottom, crank up a little bit, and I'll show you guys how to do that in a second. So I'm just going to pound this off the bottom a little bit, get it all stirred up. If I get your walleye in the meantime, fantastic. And you don't need to do this for very long. What I found out is something with a rattle, or like a little paddle tail swim jig, works well. Or even like a normal jig, one of your bass fishing jigs, just pound it off the bottom, get it all stirred up. Fish thing gets feeding. Uh, so that is my number one trick that I've learned, and I'm not an expert on catching perch, but this is what I've learned so far. So now that it's all stirred up, I'm gonna reel this back in, and I'm gonna send down a glow-in-the-dark ice bivet. So this is what they call a bivet. So you can see how it naturally wants to spin, I'll explain that in a second. Uh, with two little spikes on them or basically maggots. So that is basically using live bait on the bottom I'm using a 13 tickle stick Rod 13 fishing tickle stick with a little spring bobber on the top. So the spring bobbers that feel those super light bites So then all the way down, down to the bottom the perch are not normally suspended. They're usually right at the bottom They're feeding off the bottom. They're feeding on little mites and stuff like that Okay, I'm on the bottom the rod in front of the screen here. So I'm gonna bring it all in the bottom let my line go slack, see how that barber went up there. Okay, so the line is tight, and then I'm literally just gonna lift the rod up about six inches. Nothing fancy, so there's one right there. So one of the big tricks is, is seeing that bobber go up and down or seeing a rod or feeling the bite. I'm not good at feeling the bite, that's why I use a spring bobber. It is a little of a nuisance when it's cold out because it gets all full of ice. Uh, and if you're not keeping the perch, reel them in slow, otherwise their air bladder will turn inside out and then they can't swim back down the hole. Wrong species, but that's okay. A little sunny. You're doing it wrong. Go down the hole. So I'm going to go back down. I'm also using four pound test uh, monofilament, which stretches a lot. So when you go to set the hook, set it a little bit more than you think, especially when you're down to 20 feet. Instantly another one. I think this is a perch. So another thing I'm gonna teach you guys is basically grab right here on the perch, and they'll open their mouth. Those gill plates are super sharp. So let me show you that. Fins are sharp. Gill plates are sharp, which are these, those things right there. Uh, and their eyes are on top, basically on the top half of their head. So they're very predator fish. They'll come and smack anything, basically. And they're very, pretty much always hungry. And they'll actually uh, hit your bait pretty hard. That's why you know it's a perch. So even with electronics, it's really hard to see them on the bottom. Uh, even with a flasher because they'll basically be right on the bottom. So bottom's here, they'll be right on the bottom. It's hard to distinguish until they come off, off the bottom. It's one of the reasons why I start the lure at the bottom, bounce it a little bit, bring it up about six inches. That way they'll come up and chase it. And they're not like an opportune fighter like a bluegill. They'll come up and smack it. Bluegill will just kind of like suck it in if it's right in front of them.
one of the other th other things with perch is they'll kind of cycle around. They'll either be be there and they'll be gone for a little while, and they'll actually come back. So, especially in small weed areas, they'll kind of circle in and out of the weeds, kind of like little trails, and then they'll come back around to the same spot. So just be patient; they'll come back for the most part, unless the conditions really change, like high pressure, low pressure, that kind of stuff. So one of my other tricks that I've learned is, you know, how I said the little bivet will spin. So bobbing it up and down, small jigging movements will keep it from spinning. Momentarily, you got to keep doing it. So the perch don't really like it when it spins because they kind of that's not normal. Uh, so jigging it up and down, and then basically dead sticking it. Just set the rod down on the ice or on your bench or something like that. Even with my little heartbeat going and my stuff in my hand, basically, the rod's moving a lot. And it's moving even more down there. Well, not as much as you think, but... Like I said before, if you want to really learn how to see how perch react, summertime's the best, really. Obviously, you can see them the most. Oh, there's definitely perch on the screen right now. Bring it up away from them. Is go sight fishing. Get a shanty. Borrow a shanty, close all the windows, my windows are open just for the camera, put snow around the skirt, drill three or four holes so you can see through the ice and shallow water, and basically just call in the perch like I told you to do, and watch how they bite the jig. It's really kind of interesting. You'll learn a lot by just watching them and how they react to baits, and how they, you know, you can basically hit one on top of the head with a lure, and they'll just jerk up. They'll just swim off real fast and come back. So if you like what you guys are seeing on how to catch perch and other things, uh, if you have any more tips or tricks for catching perch while ice fishing, let me know. Leave it in the comments below. Subscribe, pretty please. And I'll keep these videos coming.